better. Hi, welcome back to my channel, Kitty Care Coaching, and my name is Stephanie. And before I get too deep into this exciting video on what is KT Over V, if you want to know more about KT Over V and how to be a good patient, you got to subscribe to my channel. You got to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of this exciting dialysis content. In today's video, I'm going to discuss dialysis adequacy, which includes KT over V and URR. What are these numbers? They sound so foreign. No other part of medicine ever talks about KT over V. What the heck is it? The KT over V, the K stands for the clearance of the dial dialyzer, the little, the tube that your blood runs through. T is the time four hours versus three hours, how long that you run. And V is the volume. Depending on how big a patient is, approximately 50% of the patient's volume is liquid or water. So if you weigh 100 kilos, you're about 50 kilos of water. So all of that water needs to be processed one time, 0.2 times, which is two tenths times, if that makes sense 1.2 so 1.2 is the bare minimum the bare minimum right do you just want the bare minimum no you want to be well above the bare minimum you want to be 1.4 1.5 that means we are really cleaning your blood effectively and you will feel better the longer you your blood is clean. Do we want you to stay on the machine 10 hours? No, that's too long because we know you got stuff to do. So we want to do like strike a balance, you know? We don't want you to do two hours because that's not enough. We don't want you to do seven hours because that's too much. So we kind of decided, not we, but the medical, <laughs> medical doctors decided, around four hours is what most patients can tolerate, you know? Four hours, you take a nap, you snooze, you watch TV, you wake up, you're done, okay? So, here's some uh, goals of the KT over V. We want it to be 1.2 or better, right? Here's some suggestions to improve your KT over V. Number one, you want to run, if you have a, a dialysis catheter, you need to run four hours, period. Ain't nothing else to say about that. You want to use the restroom before you get on the machine. If you know you just drank a 48 ounce Slurpee or whatever, go to the bathroom before you get on the machine because once they, they take you off the machine, some clinics will allow you to keep to make up the time difference and some of them won't if someone else is running behind you. So try not to eat anything really crazy before you get on the machine and then you got to get off the machine and poop or whatever. You know, some people don't even want to eat before dialysis because they don't feel right, okay? You want to make sure you get a permanent access. You want to make sure that access is developed and matured and working properly so that you can get the most effective cleaning because the better the cleaning, the higher the KT over V, right? Follow your fluid and sodium restriction because if you don't adhere to the fluid and sodium restriction, the treatment is going to be rough and you're more likely to come off early. Like you don't gain a lot of fluid, your treatment is a breeze, you get a better cleaning. Boom. Here's some results of a low KT over V, meaning you're not getting a good cleaning, your blood is full of poisons. This is what can happen to you. I'm looking at my notes. Number one, you could have itchy skin. A lot of things in dialysis can cause itchy skin, such as high phosphorus, high PTH, high calcium. All of those things can cause itchy skin, but a low KT over V where your blood isn't being cleaned properly can also cause um, itchy skin, itchy skin. Swollen feet or legs where you didn't get a good cleaning. Difficulty sleeping. A lot of patients complain they can't sleep at night. Sometimes maintaining a higher KT over V may make a difference. It's worth a try. What is it? Spend three months running 30 minutes longer and see if it helps your sleep pattern. What can it hurt? I mean, really, really, what can it hurt? Shortness of breath. If you're short of breath, that could be from them not being able to pull off all the fluid properly because you didn't get a great KT over V. It can cause 
fatigue, depression. You can have an irregular heart rate from a low KT over V. When I'm saying low KT over V, I'm saying anything below 1.2 is considered a low KT over V. And remember, 1.2 is your kidneys was doing this job. Look at me was doing this job. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, like clockwork when your kidneys were working. Now we're only giving you about um, 20, less than 25% of what your natural kidneys were doing when they were working properly. We can't even come close to what the kidneys are doing. So the bare minimum of 1.2 is the bare minimum. Anything above that is gravy. You'll actually feel better. You'll have more energy. You want to do more things by having a better KT over V. So just don't think of it as this is the time I have to spend on the machine. No, this is the time we're cleaning your blood. We're extending your life. This is giving your life back to you when you're di being dialyzed. Think of it like that. Okay, and I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my video. And when you go back to dialysis, look at your sheet and know what your KT over V is.